Hey you guys, so I get asked a lot, how do I make my videos? I'm still learning, so I'm not the best, but hey. You wanna know, here you go. <laughs> First off, I use my phone. I have an iPhone 8. Hey, don't talk about my struggle. The only app that I use is CapCut. But basically, you gonna need more than just your phone. I mean, you, it ain't much that you need. If you gotta bootleg some things like I did at the beginning, then hey. Bootleg some things. So I'm gonna tell you the things that I used before and the things that I use now. I'm also gonna tell you guys how I use CapCut. So the first thing that you're gonna need is a green screen. And basically the green screen is to make it easier to change your background. Because if you try to use CapCut with something behind your background, it might pick up that background. So the green screen makes it easier. What I did before was I went to Walmart and I bought a cloth for like $3. It was like some fabric in the fabric section. And I think I got like three yards, but it ended up being $3. And I put it over a door. Like I just hung it over a door and I, I positioned my camera to where I had to just stand right there in front of the green screen. It was really hard, but hey, I got it done. That's why I say I think it's best to just get a green screen. It's not that much. You can get one on Amazon. But yeah, I started off with just a green cloth from Walmart. Now, what I should have talked about first was the script because the script is a script. Damn, can I say it? Scri script. Script. I'm current as hell. You need a script, okay? You don't need a script because when I first started doing my videos without a script, it was pretty hard. But when I started to do it with a, a script, it made it way easier for me so when you get your script you're gonna start off with one character each line that i do for one video i just do the same line over and over different ways so that i can make sure that i you know i get it the way i want it in case i don't do it right the first time i don't like it once i look at it i might redo it again i record all of my green screen videos vertically but if you pay attention to my channel or to my page you notice that almost all of my videos are horizontal the reason I do that is because um, when I put it together, I want like I want to be able to have the option of doing my whole body. So if I'm recording vertically up and down, then it makes it easier for me to show my whole body. Lighting is very important. If you don't have the right lighting and you're trying to take that background out, your video might not turn out the way that you want it to turn out. When I'm recording, I have three sources of light like from three different angles the one that's in front of me is my tripod my um my ring light the one that's beside me is actually a lamp because i mean i could spend money i could go to amazon and buy like some lighting whatever the heck those things are i could buy some of that but why not i can i can bootleg it shoot i use a lamp a tall lamp like this it's actually my living room lamp but you know it works so we just now the little part hold on this little part right here kind of moves around. So I like to shine it directly on me from the side. That's one of my side um my side lighting. And then the other side lighting is just the light from the ceiling. So so I'm going to show you guys like an example of why it's important to have good lighting because like I say if you don't have good lighting, CapCut may not pick up you know, try to erase that background for you. With this video of my baby girl, you can kind of like see the couch in the background. This is a regular video of her with no green screen behind her. This is what I mean when I say it picks up the background. But this video on the other hand was shot in front of my green screen with lighting. Going back to that ring light, it is what holds my phone up. I don't feel like you need a tripod, but it does make it easier. When I started off, I always prop my phone up, but it was so hard because it kept falling. And if I wanted to do a video to where I disappear or I had to have the same background and I didn't want my phone to move at all, it was really, really hard. But when you have a tripod, it makes it easier. But yeah, that's basically all I use is a script, cap cut, lighting in a green screen now as far as how i use cap cut that's kind of complicated but that's okay because we're going i'm gonna try to teach y'all the best way that i know so when you get on the app press new project first you want to go to your photos and select your background that you want for your video i usually like to get my backgrounds from google now the button that you're going to click on to get the actual video with you in front of the green screen is overlay and it's going to be located at the bottom once you click it press add overlay 
and then you select which video you want according to your script whichever is your first line now remember when i said whenever you record a line you want to do takes like you want to do it multiple times press the trim button at the bottom left corner so that you could like crop it to where you want it to be and before you press the check button on the bottom right you want to make sure that you play it so that you can make sure that you are cropping out the right parts when you have your video on top of your background you want to zoom in or zoom out however you want to position it and then also zoom in and zoom out of the background you want to click on the green screen video and at the bottom scroll the options until you see remove background click on remove background that's what's going to remove the background for you now there's another option if remove background doesn't work out for you because sometimes it doesn't work if remove background doesn't work for you you want to scroll until you see chroma key now i do want you to keep in mind you have to click on that video and not the background click on the overlay video that's important it's going to take you to color picker you put the circle wherever on which color you want it to take out um, put it on the green and make sure that you put it on a low number. I mean, if you put it on a higher number, it depends on what type of video you have. But I usually like to put it on two or four. But like I said, that's just another way of how you can get rid of the green screen background. You don't have to use that option. I really personally don't like to use that option because it always does something to the video sometimes that I don't like when you don't have your lighting right. But preferably try to use remove background if you can and then if you want to add another person into the video you want to go back and make sure you're not clicking on anything not the video or the background click overlay and then trim that new video of that new person that you want to put in and add them in you're going to do exactly what you did to the last one you're going to zoom in or zoom out however you want to get it Make sure it's lined up with your background. When you're putting two people in a video, you have to make sure that they are the same size if they're not standing from different distances. Now at the bottom, if you click on that video, you can scroll over to split and then delete. That's if you don't want to just trim the video. You can also click the white buttons to trim and to like make it longer as well. Then you wanna play the video to make sure that everything is lined up. Now to zoom in and to zoom out, is kind of the most complicated part and i hope that i explain it good enough for you guys but if you look under the video and see this little diamond it's going to have a plus sign i don't know why this has a minus but click that you might want to start off with the background first so click on the background position the start part of where you want your video to start at the end of the video you want to zoom in or zoom out and then you press play and that's i hope i explain this <laughs> is right oh my god and then with zooming in the characters too you just do the same thing basically there you have it a zoom <laughs> now with uploading an, another like the next scene or the next um the next background you'll just press the plus button click overlay and then basically just do it all over again now, as far as my background music, I move over to YouTube and I search whichever type of song that I want for my background. Sometimes I search sad music. Sometimes I search slave music because, you know, I do a lot of sad videos. And then I just basically screen record it. I go back to CapCut and I scroll over and click on Extract Audio. Make sure you're not clicking on any type of videos make sure you're not clicking on the background or the green screen video but you want to click audio and then extract and then not only that if you want to add a photo or an object in front of you for example when i did my halloween video i had did like a fortune teller and in front of her the the crystal ball was in front of me but i didn't really have a crystal ball in front of me I went to Google and I Googled crystal ball PNG or transparent. And then I took the, um, I made sure that, you know, it was transparent and I clicked overlay into CapCut and I put that photo on top of my video. It's like layers. You can also click layers in there. There's a lot that you can do with CapCut. You can even add text and like, it's, it's so much that you can do. You can do filters. There's so many effects. CapCut is known for effects. 
There's so much shit you can do on CapCut. So whenever you get CapCut, my advice will be to just play around with it and just see all the features that it has and just different things that you can do. But yeah, I don't usually make videos like this, so I hope that I explained it well. I'm not really used or I'm not really good at talking for a long time like this when I'm recording. So I hope I explain it in a way that you guys can understand. If you did not check out my videos that I've already made, I do want you to head over and check them out. Matter of fact, I'm going to post one within this video. Tell me what you think about it. Make sure you like this video and make sure you are subscribed. Fresh off the auction. Oh, look, look at that. He got muscle. Kim to Kentai. Kim to Kentai, you hear her calling you. Ma'am, I didn't know you was calling. My name is Tim. Shut up. I show my friend here that muscle flex thing. You do with your own. Mouse will kill me if he saw me doing that for his wife. We'll have you killed if you don't do it. I want it. Where the hell she come from? You must get from around here for me. Somebody fry a fish? Oh my God. Fried mayo.